Hello, this is Marty from Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. Today is Thursday, the 8th of August, uh, 2019. This week, something different. The unboxing is on Thursday because yesterday I put up a sort of how to clean your paintbrush. Uh, sorry, no, how to clean your airbrush video. And so this unboxing this week is running a day late. So that's why it's Thursday. So here I go, because I know you've all been hanging out for it. Well, I certainly have. Now, this first one is from Alexander Barvarov. And you not believe it, he's from a place called Pleven in Bulgaria, of all places. So this is a first for me. So let's check it out. And it actually says on it, souvenir. So interesting. I'm intrigued. Let's have a look. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, this looks like a, ah, uh, my God, I know what this is. This is a, uh, it's a, it's a Sky King. Oh, no, what are they called? Uh, oh, what are they called again? Sky Buster, it's a Sky Buster. And this one is the, it's the SB, Skybuster number four, the Mirage F1. So this one here, look, once again, Matchbox have produced a really boring model, very plain and boring. One color paint scheme all over it and a huge undercarriage. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna give it a custom makeover and make it look super, super slick, like a, like a real Mirage. So thanks Alexander for sending that to me. So I'll set that aside. That's going to be in an up and coming video. Now, package number two is from a familiar person, someone I've heard of before called Kathy Benson from Queensland. So a local Aussie. Well, not really local, but you know, this part of the globe is where, where I'm going with that. This is the same Kathy Benson that sent me that huge model of the truck, remember? That uh, I still haven't got around to doing it. I'm going to do it as a Marty's Matchbox Makeover Special Edition. But what has she sent me today? Oh, she sent me a letter and something which I think I know what it is without unwrapping it. But let me quickly read the letter. It's a short one. Dear Marty, I hope you can find a use for this knife when you do your unboxing, LOL, smiley face. I enjoy watching your unboxing videos as much as your makeover videos. Keep up the good work. I always look forward to your videos. Yours sincerely, Kathy Benson from Townsville in Queensland, Australia. Well, Kathy, thank you once again. This is going to be superbly useful. And in actual fact, I'm going to use it for the remainder of this video. It is a craft knife. So I think this one's called an exacto knife, is it? What's, what's this one called? It's called the better known cutter, Olfa. And this one here is a jackhammer utility knife. <laughs> So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to use this from now on for my unboxings because this one here is really good for cutting out decals because it's so small. Oh, here we go. Oh, and it's got a lock on it too. Here we go. Oh, careful. Fantastic. Thank you, Kathy. I like the fact it's got a lock on it too because there you go. Oh, hang on. If it's like that, yeah, it won't, won't move when the lock's deployed. Okay, now, I've got three more to go. This one here is quite heavy. It's, a, it's from Stephen Evers from South Devon in England. Stephen's actually been emailing me saying, oh, have you got my package? So good news is, Stephen, yes, I have. Here it is here. All right, I've, I'm not showing your address, so don't panic. You won't get any stalkers. Um, it feels heavy. It feels exciting. Let's open up and see what's inside. Oh, letter. <coughs> and a few. Oh, wow. Don't want to show those too quickly. We'll get too excited too quickly. From Devon in England, Stephen Evers. Hi, Marty. As promised, I've enclosed some of the models that I won't get to do due to lack of time and mostly expert skill. I figure that the old bus you really like can be restored from the two busted ones. 
I have supplied and there is also another mostly complete Dodge truck you may like to give a go as well. The two bulldozers are not my thing as it's the scoop, shovel, digger and tanker. I've included a random super fast Mark IV Cortina. I know you're not keen on these. And a rather messed up Honda police motorcycle with a missing saddle and one with no seat but with rider. I know you'll like the challenge, so enjoy and I will look forward to more of your very helpful and fun videos. Kind regards, Stephen Evers, or it could be Evers. So, let me show you what he sent me. And I do like the idea of more motorbikes, because they're really cool. Here we go. There's a white one. Uh, oh, that, is that the one with the seat missing? I'm not too sure. It looks like it might be still be there. There's two motorbikes. There's this one here. Yeah, they both got the seat missing. Oh, on the side. This, they've got kickstands on them. Check that out. They sit quite well. So that's pretty cool. This one here has been painted by someone to resemble a Second World War dispatch motorcycle. Riders, a dispatch rider motorcycle, I reckon. And this one here is probably in its original colours. And I've never seen these before. And they are indeed, are they not? Lesney, England, they are. They're genuine matchboxes. So once again, two that I've never knew existed. Ah, oh, now check these out. These are those beautiful trolley buses, whatever they're called. Uh, B-type bus, is it? What does that say on there? God, my eyes are getting worse. It says B-type bus, 1912 to 1920. Wow, check that out there. These are two little beauties. This one's missing a wheel, see? But it's got the staircase. The last one I did had the staircase missing, and I swear I bought the last staircase that was available in the world. I got it from Canada, and I waited like two weeks, maybe three weeks to get it. I actually did one of these up, and it's in my display cabinet, but I've never actually made a video on it. I'm still kicking myself to today as to thinking, why, why didn't I? Because it turned out really nice. Well, I can say that that was my practice one, and so now I can use these two. Because this one, you see, has got the staircase missing but this one has got a wheel missing so as Stephen said I could probably make up one from the two and have some spare parts for the next one that comes along so they are just great here's a motorcyclist looks a little bit odd doesn't he strange sort of pose for someone but there we go he'll probably sit on that there would he let's have a look at that oh sorry Oh, yeah, he, he would fit on there with a bit of a squeeze. I don't want to push it. But there you go. That's going to look great. I've never seen that model before. What else have we got here? I'll move these out of the way. It doesn't get too crowded on the table. This steam shovel is something, again, I've never seen. Oh, it never ceases to amaze me. How many of these models did they make? It says this is a Rustin Buck, Buckvus, Rustin Buckvus or something, made in England by Lesney. That's a great, oh, Rustin, yeah, Buckyrus, it says on the cabin. This is brilliant. I'm going to have to do some research on that. Check that out. There's some mud. Looks like there's some mud in the bucket there, where some kid's been using it to dig in the garden, you know. <laughs> That's great. I like that. It's got one track missing. But never mind. Never mind. I can probably get one of those from online. Now, we've got this uh, crane, which is for the crane truck. Oh, minus the crane. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's the second one I've got in that condition. I'm going to have to do something about that. Find this rear piece. And uh, this is nice. Another little bulldozer. I'm going to do a series of bulldozers as well. That's on my list of things to do. I've got a... Oh, this must be the super fast he's talking about. Four Cortina. Matchbox super fast. It's got a black stripe along the side. Look at that. Sort of an interesting little detail that they added there. And it's got a number plate on it. rsh eight t So a fair bit of detail in that. Doors don't open. How are we looking? Too cluttered? Should I move move some aside? Hmm. Here's a BP tanker, the four-wheeler, super fast. Uh, ergomatic cab. 
not too sure what that meant, but it meant something to somebody, ergomatic, because they kept typing on them. I've got a couple of those now, and I do love my BP colours. You've probably seen my videos. I got, I use the Tamiya colours. Uh, no, I don't. I use the enamel, the Revel enamel, and they're p perfect for the BP colours. That's right. So I, I've got to get on to that. So, much, so many things to do and not enough time. Now, this is a little beauty. Check this out. It's not actually a little beauty. It's a big beauty. This is going to look awesome. It's the king size matchbox Dodge tractor. And not only is that as it is in really good nick with all the, from what I can see, it's got, oh, it's got one tire missing, but practically all the tires and everything in good working order with no bent bits and pieces. It's even got the horns on the roof there and they look in good nick. It also comes with a trailer and the back for the trailer. So I can see another road train video coming on there. That's a beauty. That's going to look super special. When that's brand new, new stickers, new decals, and new paint job, it's going to look a million dollars. I'm actually going to fast forward that one, I think, and do that one. Well, I can't do it. I've already made plans, but within the next two months, you'll see this in a video. I guarantee it. And last in this box of goodies is another uh, bulldozer, slightly different from the last one. Same but different, as they say. That one looks like it's 100 horsepower, and this one's a 80 horsepower or something. Who knows? So great. Thank you so much, Stephen. Fantastic box of goodies. And these ones here, I'm really excited about these. They are going to look great. All right, that was number three. I've got two more, more, two more to go. This one's number four, surprisingly. And this is a, a lightweight envelope. It says one toy car, and it is from B. Briss, Brissenden from Lancaster, it says, or maybe Lancaster. Lancaster in the UK. Now, hopefully I don't cut the... If there's a letter in here, I hope I don't cut it open. Cut it in half, I should say. No. <laughs> Not as bad. I did. Not as much as I could have done, though. Let's see what it says. That's fine. I can, I've been here before. I, I've been in this situation before quite recently. So I'm familiar. I'm an old hat at this. See? It's like a jigsaw. Easy. Dear Marty, Julie and Kevin, first off I just wish to thank you for the videos. They're always entertaining, informative and very calming to watch. And I look forward to each new one immensely. I'd love to see you restore a police vehicle. So I have included an old Matchbox Ford Fairlane police car with this letter. This, I don't think I've actually done a police car yet. Uh, it's in a bit of a state, what with the paint, dirt and bent axle, but I'm sure you'll be able to make it look like new again and hope you enjoy it. Your videos have also inspired me to give it a go. So I've got another Ford Fairlane police car, myself, that I'll be trying to make over as my first attempt. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to try that pearlescent blue paint though. I might cheat a little and do a classic black and white. That's a great idea. Keep up the good work. Ben B from Lancaster. Lancaster, as in the aircraft bomber in the Second World War, from England. So thanks, Ben. Let's have a look at this police car. The first one, I believe, that I've ever received or ever bought. I've never bought one even. Remember in the early days, I was always buying stuff on, on eBay. Oh, right. This is one I have not got and I have not done up. And wow, I'm going to have to buy a new windscreen for that. But I'm quite excited because I do like the emergency vehicles. They turn out really nice. Ah, uh, yeah, got to get a new sort of red LED for the top of that. But all, overall, it's not too bad. The front axle's bent, but that's going to make for a cute little model. Got to get some of these decals for the bonnet, though. That can be troublesome. I mean, I'm still starting, I'm still learning 
with the whole decal thing. and I haven't quite mastered it as much as I'd like yet. But it um, should be good. Thanks, Ben, from England. I'm going to put your pin in the map in a minute. And everybody else's, for that matter. Okay, last box for this evening. There's a fly in my vision. Is just a midge, midgy or something. Uh, Joseph Brossier from Oklahoma in the US. And it's a big box, but it's a light box. So always very intriguing. And it says fabric patches, toy cars, and a painting. And some more packing chips. Once again, I should open a packing chip museum because these are another one that I have never seen before. I reckon I've seen about 10 different types. <laughs> oh, this is nice leather. Look at that. Nice quality, quality paper. The big one. Uh, in this package, it says things got a little bit out of hand. And uh, he sent me more than he was originally going to send me. It's got an envelope, a black canister, a yellow truck, a tractor, and a paper bag. And it says, please use caution opening the items in this bag. They can be easily damaged. Okay. So the envelope. You mentioned in the video you collected challenge coins. I have a number of them from my military career, but they're buried somewhere. So instead, since you expressed an interest in patches, I decided to send you some uniform items from my time stationed in Germany in the 1st Armoured Division. Wow. There's also a pin for the 67th Armoured Regiment. And he was also in the 4th Battalion of the 67th. Hmm. Oh, well, let's have a look at the envelope. Oh, nice container. Wow, that's a handy little container too. This is a ooh, nice container. So here's the, the envelope. Let's open this up. Wow, I'm really intrigued by these. Oh, look at that there. These are real. They've come off as uniform, look at that. US Army. So this is a patch from 1st Armoured Division. Old Ironside, and there's a picture of a, a, a vintage cannon and a tracked vehicle in the background, the lightning bolt. That's nice, isn't that? And what else? These here are some, oh, it's a pin. It's a nice pin. It's uh, the pin is a unit, the unit crest for the 67th Armoured Regiment. And Joseph was in the 4th Battalion. So that must be a 4th Battalion uh, sort of insignia or something. An accoutrement for the uniform. That's a word I don't use very often. Oh, well, they're great. Very interesting and something different, which is always in, which is always, always good, you know? Okay, the black canister. This is a very small and highly detailed pewter model of a M88A1 medium recovery vehicle. I spent three years pulling Abrams tanks out of the mud. Gee, let's have a look at this. This is gonna, this is tiny. Surely, surely this can't be a model. It does say it's a very small and highly detailed model. Oh my God, look at that. Wow, this is like, um, this brings back memories of when I was into war gaming as a kid. I used to buy these. I know what a nerd I was. I used to buy them and paint them up. Oh, so it's, wow, that, this is weird. It's incredibly detailed. And most unusual. In fact, you need a magnifying glass to see it. That's great. It's brilliant. I'm gonna have to think of what to do with that. I might have to put it in like a little glass dome or something on a something like that to pres to preserve it and keep it, make it presentable. That's good, isn't it? All right, moving on. What else have we got in here? Uh, the yellow truck. Okay. There's a yellow truck. We're going for the paper bag first. 
The paper bag, use caution whilst opening items. They can be easily damaged. Ooh. Cherokee Nation. Dot com. The patch bears the great seal of the Cher it's a it's a patch. The capital of the Cherokee Nation is located here in Taliqua. The patch bears the great seal of the Cherokee Nation. No, sorry, Cherokee Nation. The painting is by a Cherokee artist named. Dino Oogaloot Kingfisher. Hmm. <coughs> this must be the painting. It's all very well. Oh, look at those. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful brand new patch. The seal of the Cherokee Nation. September the 6th, 1839. It's obviously brand new. Look, never been never been used. That's nice. Now there's a thing here, do not cut, it says on it. So this must be the painting. It's all very in interesting. Stuff from America, you know. All right, there's a little canvas on a frame. Oh, it's a miniature painting of a, what, an Indian brave or something. So this is an original painting by Cherokee artist Dino Oogaloot Kingfisher. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? That's something really, really quite weird and random that I would never have even guessed. I would never, in a million years, have thought I'd be holding something like this in my hands, you know, due to my Matchbox channel. It's incredible. It's quite detailed too, it's really good. He's obviously a good artist, this Dino Kingfisher. Well, thank you very much. Uh, now we have the last items. I'll move these over here because they're obviously, that's probably quite valuable, I imagine, being an original. And the last two items for today are, oh, it looks like a nice little tractor. It's, it's, oh, it's a nice model of a tractor. It's a Alice Chalmers branded tractor. It looks brand new and it is made oh in China I thought it might have been made in America it's got a great high gloss red finish on it there and it's, uh, quite a detailed engine block too and you can see on the front actually it's been masked during the spray process it's a very slight overspray there it's a nice little model though so what does it say about that the uh, the tractor I once worked in a feed store that sold these toy tractors. I, I collected a few. Oh, right, eh? And this is the last item for today, people. And it looks like the yellow truck. He thought it was an old matchbox. It wasn't until I looked inside the next day he discovered it was a Tootsie. Notice how the rear axle was crimped to keep the rear wheels separate. Very clever. So this is a 1956 Ford C600 truck. And it's a Tootsie brand. And this is going into my Tootsie collection, which I've uh, acquired quite unintentionally. And uh, I've got a few of these now, and I never even knew they were, they were made. They're made in Chicago, USA, if you have a look in there. And this one's got a very old perished tires on it, and the front two are actually snapped off because the rubber's gone brittle. Well, have a look at that. Something you don't see every day. A Tootsie 1956 Ford C600. So thank you again, Joseph Brossier from Oklahoma. Also, all the other people that have generously contributed some items for uh, your visual pleasure and mine. So I hope I didn't rush through this too quickly. There was a lot, a lot of things here, a lot of different things, and I, I certainly found it exciting. And it was almost like Christmas again. Um, I, I just can't believe the diversity of, of the stuff that people are sending me. It's just fantastic. Um, and if you've sent me some stuff, do not panic. I've still got other packages to unbox. I'm just trying to do the older ones first. And uh, I'm getting round to yours if, if the, 
Like I might get another one tomorrow, who knows? Anyway, stick around before you go because I'm going to put the pins in the map and give these people the recognition that they deserve. So thank you. We'll do that now. Okay, let's get these pins up. Alexander Varov from Bulgaria. Where is Bulgaria? Where is my magnifying glass? Is it near Budapest? It's about there it is. Bulgaria. Yeah, put it there. Okay. Next one. Kathy Benson in Queensland. Actually, I might put another yellow one in there. Queensland, Kathy Benson. I think they're all coming from the same person there. <laughs> Uh, Stephen Evers from England. I said I was going to use all green, but I'll, I'll mix it up. So England's getting pretty crowded, so I'll just stick another one in England. And uh, there we go. That's yours, Stephen, there. Blue one. Ben Brissenden from Lancaster. Lancashire. Lancaster. Lancaster in the UK. Another one there. And Joseph Brussia from Oklahoma in the U.S. of A. Now, Oklahoma could be only one place. I'm going to have to Google it. Um, oh, yeah, Oklahoma. I got it. Here we go. So that is Joseph Brussia. So there you go, people. All your pins are in the map. And the map's looking fantastic, so keep them coming. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.